In my first video, I was able to show you how I lowered my blood sugar from a level 300 down to 93. In fact, my A1C dropped down to a lower than 6. How did I do that? And what can you do in order to lower your blood sugar? We're going to get right into that in this episode of Crush a Mountain. Hello and welcome to Crush Your Mountain. I am the Hangster OG, writer, life coach, and public speaker. And I wanted to share this information in terms of lowering your blood sugar and how to do it. And the first thing I want you to understand is you should consult your doctor, team up with him so that you can work together with him in order to take the right steps in order to lower your blood sugar. So what did I do? First thing I did was make that assessment along with my doctor. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention medication. When the doctor saw the situation, he immediately wanted to put me on insulin. I said, no way. So what happened was, I did agree to take metformin, and that helped tremendously. Then I just looked at my eating lifestyle, and I've mentioned that before. We're gonna have a video coming up, by the way, when it comes to paleo or keto diet or any other diet versus eating a lifestyle and what you need to know about those things. In fact, if you don't mind, let me know in the comments below if there's a diet that appeals to you and whether or not you would prefer an eating lifestyle. If so, I'll have some information for you as far as that's concerned. And I did that by changing the type of meats that I ate. I cut down on the red meat that I ate first of all. I do still enjoy a nice steak every now and then, but not so often. When it comes to having a burger, if you must have one, I decided to go ahead and remove the bun from the burger, and I had just the meat by itself. That went a long, a long way when it came to dropping my blood sugar. Why is that the case? Because the carbohydrates in your system, that's what converts to sugar, and your body, the glucose in your body, and that was, is what gets stored, and that is what lends towards having a, a high blood sugar, a high glucose in your system. So you want to avoid that. So what else do I, did I do? After I did that, I embarked on a series of exercises that would allow me to increase my heart rate, build muscle, as well as lower my blood sugar by reason of essentially flushing my system, as it were. So what exercises did I do? Well, number one, I did a brief cardio. So I did that every morning. Now here's the thing. When you do something the first thing in the morning, you wanna make sure that your body is hydrated. So what I want you to do and what I've done is first thing in the morning, I get some water and I drink some water, usually a nice 16 ounce. Now, why is that important? Your body loses a bit amount of hydration throughout the night while you sleep. So replenishing that, number one, it wakes your body up a little bit, but it also rehydrates you. And if you get start in the in every morning that way, you're refreshed right from the beginning. It's a great way to start the day. So after I get my water going, I immediately jump down, I do push-ups. Now, some people are not crazy about doing push-ups or exercise at home, but let me tell you this. If you involve yourself in just doing the, the most or at least you can do just the first time, and then get up and congratulate yourself on that, it's gonna go a long way. You are not just reprogramming your body, but you're reprogramming your mind. And that's the most important thing. It's your mind that will make you the winner. If you see yourself just completing one, two, or three push-ups that first time, you should get up and give yourself a good pat on the back. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, you rock, because you do. The next time, try to make it a little more, until finally you can do maybe 10, or 15, or 20. Guess what? I started out with just 20 push-ups. Now, on a daily basis, I'm doing 100 to 120 push-ups. Okay? After I do that, I immediately go and move into some dumbbell exercises, and I do some squats, and I also do some deadlifts. After that, I go and I, use, I do some dips. So I do, th do those in a quick succession. And in doing that, what I do, I've made a circuit. 
You do that two more times, you have a, a, a quick workout that you can get done in 20 minutes or less. After that, the day is, the day is set. For me, I am able to go ahead at that point and get my day done, go to work. Seeing that there's a lot of movement at my job, I don't sit a lot. So the good thing is I've already started burning those calories and I've raised my heart rate a little and increased my metabolism and I keep it going throughout the day. I also have a smoothie in the morning. A smoothie is a great thing to have because you can add whatever you need to it to keep yourself full and yet not have a lot of sugar in it. And then you can keep that going. And again, it cleans out your system and it lowers your blood sugar. And again, over a period of time, you'll see your numbers drop. Speaking of numbers, what you also want to do is have a glucose meter. Now your glucose meter is vital because that helps you to monitor exactly how much progress you're making and it's a great record for your doctor. There are some apps that you can get on your app store, be it Google or Android, that will keep, that will keep track of what you're doing and then you can present that to your doc, doctor so that he knows what you're doing. Finally, what I did after that, I made sure that I tried to get as much, a, a good amount of sleep. You'd be surprised the amount of sleep that a person needs. Not having the right amount of sleep can actually raise your blood sugar. So that's a big challenge for those of you that might work shift work, you might work second or third shift. We're gonna have a, a video coming up soon on sleep, its importance, and how it, it can affect the body, including a number of areas in your life, personal things, if you know what I mean. Yes! So listen, I hope that was very helpful to you. If that had any value, please leave a like and subscribe, leave your comments below, let me know what you're thinking and how I can improve this, this video. Anyhow, as I've always said, you are the one that takes care of the problems in your life. There are no problems, there are only mountains to crush through. Don't just climb your mountain, crush through it. Be determined to make it, and you will. Listen, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.